In this two-minute tutorial, you will learn how to take pictures of the Milky Way. First off, it's important to have a camera that can be put in manual, allowing for the adjustment of settings like shutter speed, ISO, and aperture. When taking pictures of any night sky scene, it's important to avoid star trails, which can occur if the shutter speed is too long. Taking 500 divided by the focal length of your lens will give you your maximum shutter speed. This is the shutter speed you will want to use to get as much light into the camera, and you won't encounter any star trailing. For the aperture setting, use the smallest F number your lens will allow, although aperture values above 2.8 will make the Milky Way harder to photograph. As the F number decreases, the aperture inside the lens opens up, letting in more light. Now comes ISO, or the sensitivity of your image sensor. The higher the ISO, the more noise and grain will enter the image, so finding your maximum ISO without too much noise will be important. This is dependent on the comfort level and your camera's ability. Just remember that these settings are dependent on one another, so finding the right balance is key and will often take practice. Once you have your settings locked in, focus on a bright star by first changing the focus mode from auto to manual. Then using live view, zooming onto a star using your focus magnifier and adjusting the focus. Make sure that you're shooting in raw picture mode and that you have a sturdy tripod. Use your camera's self timer or an external shutter release to eliminate any shake from pressing the shutter button. If you have the mirror lockup feature, enable that to further reduce camera shake. Keeping all these things in mind, you should capture the breathtaking view of the Milky Way. Thank you for watching.